The site of Hampi in India's southwestern state of Karnataka was the capital of the last great Hindu kingdom of Vijayanagara. The empire prospered between the 14th and 16th centuries and received UNESCO World Heritage status in 1986. To this day, it remains a very popular destination. Over half a million people visit Hampi every year. Some of these temples are still active places of worship. When I come to this place, I'm very happy. I do this for my family to pray for good health and a good future. I've been coming here to worship since I was in my 50s. It's such a peaceful place. The temples are not just popular with Indian pilgrims, but also with foreign tourists. Hampi represents a source of income for many local people, but it's much more than that. Manjanat is a local guide. His family has lived here for three generations. He was born and raised at the heart of the ancient empire, the temples were his playground. My grandparents came here 80 years ago. They settled down here. It was not a tourist destination, just a pleasant place to live. Many people would come here to worship. When pilgrims came to the temples, my grandfather would offer them tea, coffee or food, make them feel at home. He would treat them like guests of God. Like homely facilities, because of, there was thought a guest is a god. Manjanat's family moved a few kilometers away from the site in 2011, when the pavilion area where the house was built was cleared for restoration. He's worked as a tour guide here for 15 years. There, was a more than thousand of temples. there are more than a thousand temples, but each one is different because we have three different kinds of architecture. The first one is general architecture, the second is Hindu and Islamic architecture, and the third is fortifications and watchtowers like in military architecture. Hampi is a fantastic site, very, very beautiful. But the growing number of pilgrims and tourists brings new challenges. Archaeologist N.C. Prakash's main task is to restore the ruined sites, but also to ensure the safety of the monuments. The biggest problem today is garbage. We have to give more awareness to them. We have to raise awareness among visitors because when people come here, they bring a lot of plastic, food and other things. We've installed dustbins, but knowingly or unknowingly, I don't know. The people don't use the dustbins. So cleanliness really is something we have to raise awareness about. Bring into the awareness. A group of locals is taking the issue seriously and has decided to get its hands dirty. Kiran runs a family guest house near the Virupaksha temple. He and his friends join in to help keep the place clean. We have also responsibility to clean Hampi, to keep Hampi clean. So with my friends all over here, they were just clean with me. So we have been doing this um, kind of work since uh, many years. With, we have also an organization called Citizens' Rights Protection Forum, which is where started in 2003, and we are still with that. So sometimes we plan out to clean places like a riverbed or waterfalls area or some other monument area. It's not hard to imagine just how magnificent Hampi was in its glory day. A mythical site that bears witness to a rich history whose beauty and integrity must be preserved for future generations.